Capricorns, welcome back to my channel and welcome all my new Capricorns here. Let's see what her shoes she needs to hear for the beginning half of February. Now, any information you may be needing to book a personal, to check out my astrology and my pink card channel will be listed below. Just click the link tree link. Also, if you want to see future uploads from my channel here, uh, click that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you can get notified when I upload. But let's get into it, Capricorn. So first card we have is the death card. So right off the bat, the harsh truth that you're maybe needing to hear at the moment is things change. Nothing in life stays consistent. And if you are expecting um, life to just consistently be one way, then you are, for one, being unrealistic. OK, people change, you change, circumstances change for the better and sometimes for the worse. OK, um, but with the death card in the six of cups here, a lot of my Capricorns need to just kind of be OK oh, or OK. What is that? Be OK or be content with the changes that you are either a going through on a personal level and know that this is for your growth, especially if you've been more so just grounded in this stagnant energy for too long. And then for others of you, this could be more so being okay with the changes around you in terms of the people around you and knowing that um, something has to give, especially if you've been on this like same consistent roller coaster of dealing with the same person over and over and over and over and over again, and them kind of like just showing you the same thing, this repetitive pattern. Okay, at some point you have to break away from that insanity because that's what insanity is when someone is doing something uh, repeatedly the same way and expecting the same, I mean, a different outcome. Another harsh truth, some of you guys really do need to be content with the ending of a relationship with the person you may have children with. Now, when I say this, I don't mean that like some of you guys want to go back to this person. For some of you, that's very much the case. But for others of you, it's more so the way things ended. Some of you are still letting on the scarring or holding on to this person did this to me, so I don't really want to date. Or I went through these experiences and my life is so hard and, you know, this is why I'm having a hard time moving forward. Stop letting the past define you is basically what I'm saying with the Six of Cups and the Emperor. The emperor takes control, takes responsibility, is on top of their shit, okay? And for a lot of you, it's like, also making sure you're not getting caught up in the good times too of the past. Like you could find yourself daydreaming about when financially things were one way for you in the past or when your relationship was just a different way or... Again, letting nostalgia kind of keep you in places that you've outgrown. Let's keep going. I have the four of swords, the two of pentacles, the wait, the two of wands, two of pentacles, the devil and the seven of swords. Bottom of the deck, we have the judgment card. Okay, so another hard shoot that you may be needing to hear um, it's time for you guys to take some time out for you to do you so you can really get your stuff in order. Some of you have not been on top of your finances like you need to be because you've been just trying to keep up with life and, and everything. And yeah, there's certain financial responsibilities that you do need to make sure you're not avoiding and that you're not just kind of pushing off to the side here. This is also just taking some time away from people who distract you from being on top of your game. Some of you have been very indecisive about leaving a toxic relationship and there's a lot of infidelity. There's a lot of secrets. It's a lot of avoidance of what's truly going on and really discussing what the, the true problems are just out of trying to keep the peace. And the more that you do this, the more that it's going to irritate you or bother your spirit.
For a lot of you too, it's making sure you're staying out of your head as well. Some of you are thinking too hard about the decisions that you want to make and that's why you're not making them. I think that's why the judgment card is at the bottom of the deck. It's like being set in your decisions, being set in your choices and being able to make that judgment call based off of what makes the most sense to you on an intuitive level. And some of you have been more so questioning your intuition or even ignoring it in some ways with the seven of swords here. For some of you guys, also, if there's a substance abuse issue that you're struggling with, like a drinking problem or overdoing it with certain, you know, habits there, there's a need for you to address that as well. Are you inconsistent in certain ways? And that's like a bad habit that you have. Or are you, like I said, struggling with substance abuse issues, struggling with going back and forth with a toxic relationship where somebody's very avoidant to the way that you feel or a liar? All right, let's pull two last cards. Capricorn, Summer, Rising, and Venus placements. What are the harsh truths they need to hear for the first half of February 2023? So, we have be a light to others. You have a powerful message to share. Shine your light on the world so that others can learn from you. So yes, Capricorns, the harsh truth is a lot of the stuff that you've been going through or you have gone through has made you somebody who can be a testimony, somebody who can be a voice for other people. And there's a need for you to not dim your light or ignore the fact that you have a testimony, ignore the fact that you have something to share here, especially when it comes to uh, a gift that you may have. Some of you guys are readers who are watching this. Some of you guys are, you know, spiritual teachers watching this and you've gone through things because of um, the very fact that your journey is calling for you to be a testimony in some way. And we also have embraced this magical moment. You're in a perfect energetic space for manifesting miracles. Allow your wishes to be fulfilled. So this is finding joy within the now. Some of you are waiting until um, this gets accomplished and this happens and that happens for you to really find the joy in the present moment when there's so much beautiful things to be grateful for in this present moment. Like you making it out of that toxic relationship, you making it out of financial struggles, you, you know, making it through certain health issues that you could be going through. Whatever this may be, you need to center yourself in the present moment and recognizing who you are and also um, just what there is to be grateful for and how you can use that to even manifest more things into your life. Okay. But these are the messages that I see for you, Capricorns. I hope that this reading was helpful and that you took something from it. If you did, definitely thumbs up the video and subscribe so you never miss a beat. And check out the description, like I said, if you do want a personal reading. And... Oh, yeah, I wanted to say something. Um, if you guys want a love forecast on my website, that is on sale until the 14th. So... Check out my website, check out the love readings if you want to get one. But this is what I see. I will see you in the next one.